As you can tell by the title, today we're talking about love. But before we do that, I wanted to let you know that starting now, I'll be moving to two podcast episodes per month. As I shared before, I've come to learn that my soul can only produce at a certain pace, and I'm going to honor that. This means you'll have a bit more time to digest and practice what I share in each episode. I trust that you're trying on the I Can Do That practice from every show. So I try never to give you something that I'm squeezing out of the last drop of my creativity bucket. It doesn't work for me, and it certainly doesn't work for you. I trust that you will be able to chew on each episode for two weeks rather than one. So in a posture of caring for myself and for you, let's engage our new rhythm with grace and love. I'm Jem Fadling, and it's time for I Can Do That. been enjoying a prayer book entitled Celtic Benediction. It's a week's worth of daily prayers that are based on scripture and poetry. There's such a lovely connection to the soul and nature within its pages, and I find it quite nourishing. There's a beautiful phrase in one of the prayers that really struck my heart, and I'd like to talk about it with you today. It says this, Release in me the freedom of your spirit, that I may be bridled by nothing but love that I may be bridled only by love. I was moved by the word bridled. Many of you have either read about or heard me talk about owning a horse as a young girl. She was a retired parade palomino named Lady. She was tall, blonde, and beautiful. I would climb our fence, call her name, and she would come trotting over. I'd climb on bareback, grab her mane, gently kick her sides, and we'd be off. And I had four acres to walk, trot, and gallop to my heart's content. And yes, I did own the parade bridle and saddle. They were made of black leather with large silver studs covering the entire surface. It was rare that I used the saddle, but occasionally I would use the bridle. My dad would help me fit the bit into Lady's mouth, and he taught me to pull gently to the right to turn right and to the left to turn left. And this was the signal to Lady to move in the direction that I desired to go. So this memory flashed into my mind as I read the prayer. Release in me the freedom of your spirit, that I may be bridled by nothing but love, that I may be bridled only by love. Now in this image, I'm the one being bridled. I imagine the bit in my own mouth and God graciously directing me by love, toward love, for love, and in love. May I be bridled by nothing but love. May I be bridled only by love. What an incredible thought. What an incredible intention. Can I be directed by and guided by love today? What would that look like? What would that feel like? Well, let's remind ourselves what love looks like from the ever-famous passage in 1 Corinthians 13. And I'm going to read from the message version just for a little twist here. Now, as I read, listen for the phrase that really moves you. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut. Doesn't have a swelled head doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Love never dies. Now, what if this was my bridle? What if the bit of love was in my mouth and these descriptions provided the direction of my steps throughout the day? This becomes so much more powerful when we remove the to-do list aspect of 1 Corinthians. This is a way to live. The simplicity of love can help steer you through your day. Allow the grace of God to meet you where you are 
to fill you with his love and to steer your heart, your mind, and your body in the way of love. May I be bridled by nothing but love. May I be bridled only by love. Here's your I can do that for this week. Go back and listen to the list from 1 Corinthians again, or simply read it in your own Bible, and then ponder. What phrase was most invitational to you? How might you be steered by that dynamic today? May you be bridled by nothing but love. May you be bridled only by love. Blessings to you as you make your way. And as always, remember, you are making your way forward one small, simple, and gracious step at a time. Now stay with me here. I have something really important to share with you. I'm going to start by asking you a question. Would you like to move at the pace of grace? Or would you like to grow at the pace of transformation? Or would you even like to lead and influence at the pace of Jesus? Well, I'd like to invite you to join us in a 21-month training process called PACE, a Certificate in Leadership and Soul Care. This is a holistic training that begins with your own walk with God, and it unfolds into what you do and how you do it. What makes us different is that we combine your own Christian spiritual formation with how you lead individuals and groups. In our PACE training, we practice everything together so that you receive the support and the feedback you desire. So if you'd like to focus on the tools and experience you require to enhance the work you're already doing, then PACE is for you, and I really hope you'll join us. You can learn more and apply at unhurriedliving.com slash PACE. Thank you.